Well, good morning. I think today is day 10 of the trip. And we are headed from... George, New York. And we're going to do a stopover in... Niagara Falls. And then we're going to eventually end up in... Erie, Pennsylvania. That's what we're going to do. Um, last night, this motel here... Hampton Inn Hotel, and Suites. Hotel, yeah. It was, uh, it was beautiful. Uh, very nice. The room was enormous. Slept good. Good hard to sleep. Well, tonight is going to be Erie, Pennsylvania, and we're going to meet up with uh, a a channel supporter slant subscriber slant buddy slant can am friend uh, over in Niagara Falls named Wayne, and uh, we look forward to meeting him face to face. I spoke with him on the phone last night. Um, it just worked out perfectly. I want you to know that because we aren't in a normal time continuum, a lot of times you may leave a comment about we would like to meet you we may have already blown through there. And so when we see those comments and we've already gone through an area, we really can't, we can't do it. If you get that thing out there early enough, then, then you know, we might be able to stop and say hi. Yeah, we had, we had some folks from uh, New Hampshire. We had some folks even from Maine talk about it. We are already gone from those areas, so. We just didn't advertise when we left. Right. And I mentioned that in the video, why, with the oh. security and the girls and all that stuff. So, But it's a nice morning. Uh, there is a lot of rain in the area. It, all the forecasts say we're going to be south of it. We've seen that before. <laughs> I think I think we missed the rain. Yesterday was a good call. Heading yeah, down you there. did a good job so, playing that one. Uh, we'd, we'd have definitely gotten wet if we had we gone over into, uh, into Vermont. Yeah, I'm glad we went to Vermont. 100 miles. Yeah. Good call there, Coach Bob. All right, well, we're going to get loaded up and we're going to roll on. I don't know. Our next stop was Oneida, Oneida, Oneida. I call it Oneida. I call it Oneida. She calls it potato. I call it potato. There we go. Tomato, tomato. We'll find out which the right way is. Actually, I don't call it a potato or a potato. I call it a tater. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get you on this thing. All right, well, we are leaving Lake George, New York. We're a little behind schedule, but that's okay. We don't mind. So we're going to be grabbing, uh, what is it, 87 South here. And then we'll hop off and uh, grab a little state road that cuts off. Because this goes way far south. And then the other interstate that we're going to be on grabs it and heads northeast. And so we'll cut that little corner off here. We'll get a little further south on the interstate. It's not too far down. About 20 miles, 25 miles. We got a nice day in store, uh, Niagara Falls today, so be sure to stick around, check it out. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. We do appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the ride this morning as we go to meet a new friend and see the wonderful Niagara Falls. Let's do this. I'm excited to be on the road this morning, I do know that. In fact, I love being on the road. <laughs> hopping off here at exit 15 towards Saratoga Springs. Now, every time I'm in this area, I, I think about something. You know, it's uh, when, you're, when your kids grow up and they start to move out and you're wondering where they're going to end up and how they're going to do, what are they going to be when they grow up? Now, you know, you know, you know what they really are, but, but what, what, what trade are they going to have? Are they going to be successful? Are they going to going to be what you raised them to be and uh, so my son after he got out of high school and decided college wasn't his bag he decided to go to the hardest school of his life Navy nuclear school he went to a school and and uh, well, he said boot camp <laughs> he actually said boot camp was easy after being raised by me I didn't know if that was supposed to be a compliment or a slam I think it was supposed to be a compliment I took it as one anyway so he uh, said boot camp was easy he got out of boot camp and he went to uh, Charleston South Carolina to nuclear power training command and uh, struggled 
through A school and then through B school. Uh, B school was easier, he said, than A school because he did so poorly in A school, he learned to study. And he said the folks that did really well in A school normally didn't do as well in B school because B school actually required you study. You could be, you know, kind of a, a brainiac and get through A school, but it, the, the habits, the, if you don't develop habits, you're gonna have to study in B school no matter how smart you are. But when he got to, uh, when he got through with that, he came up here near the Clifton Park, Saratoga Springs area came up here and went to ooh, beautiful Glass Lake and went to uh, power school up here where they train on a reactor and do all that and uh, he struggled real hard it was so funny he was struggling really really hard and he called me one day and wanted to get married and him and his current wife had been dating for a long time there in Tallahassee and they were separated and we talked and and it was one of those things where I said do, do you really think it's a good idea right now bringing your wife in and adding a distraction from the work that you're doing uh, maybe it might be a good idea to wait until after power school uh, what do you think and he's like dad I, I just want her with me I, I want her with me and uh, I could relate to that. And, I, and, and after a conversation, obviously it was his decision, but he was seeking counsel of his father. And uh, so I said, you know, man, you know what? If you're lonely, sometimes loneliness can make things a lot worse. If you're lonely and you want her up there, get married and take her on up there. So they, they decided they were going to get married, and he flew in on a Friday. And they got married on a Saturday. It was a beautiful wedding. Her family planned a beautiful wedding. Last minute, um, just just beautiful. All the work. I mean, they probably did a year's work in like a month. Um, they got married Sunday morning. They were at my house. I had to wake them up in the middle of the night, basically. And uh, we were on the road 3.30, 4 o'clock. I mean, it was early. It was real early. I gotta turn up here at this red light. Man, these, this is a beautiful town. Man. Look at the architecture in these buildings. Every one of these buildings deserve an entire episode. <laughs> wow. So they got married and lo and behold, his grades went straight up after they got married. He was lonely. That was his problem. And he, and he really longed to have his wife with him. That's pretty cool. In a world that tells you that can't, you can't do that anymore. You can't live happily ever after anymore. And is everything perfect for them? No, he was underway for months at a time. And life is hard. Uh, when he's underway, he's a submariner, as you know. He's gone for months and no contact. But they've done well. Now he's on shore duty and living in San Diego, as y'all know. And man, life is sweet. <laughs> All right. But the point is that as a father, it was one of those moments where I said, I got something right. I got something right. And that feels pretty good. So let's enjoy the beauty of Saratoga Springs because, man, it is a beautiful little town. It is not a real surprise. There was a big front coming through last night, and I told Coach Vic that somewhere between us and there we're going to get wet sometime today that's why we have our rain jackets on this morning i don't think it's going to get horribly bad it's just going to be in and out of little drizzle rains but it's been going steady here for a while <laughs> get your fresh eggs right there Let's get through this little bit of rain. We're about to grab the 90. 
here in just another little bit, probably another hour or so. But hopefully the rain lets up and the temperature comes up. Johnstown, New York, rain's let up just a little bit. It's a nice little town. Uh, it's it's funny, man. All these towns that you're just riding along and boop, they just pop up. Notice they've got a text stop. <laughs> That's a place to stop and text, I guess. <laughs> it's uh, eight miles down the road. <laughs> I guess it's a good idea to have it, huh? As you can see, we are at the interstate. And we are getting ready to make that solid ride over to Niagara Falls. As times like these, I will tell you, give you a cleanup, that I do appreciate the idea of a GPS because there are a lot of little roads in these areas it would be very difficult to navigate. Uh, the old days, you know, we used a map. I'll be honest with you, man. It would be real tough going through some of these little towns with a map, trying to read that and keep up. Um, I don't know how my mom and dad didn't argue. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, my goodness. I drive Coach Vic crazy. Where do I turn next? Where do I turn next? Where do I turn next? <laughs> But if you're going to stop, this is the place to stop. Look at that. Beauty as far as the eye can see. In fact, it's so beautiful, there's a couple of golden arches right there, Coach Vic. Look at that. Home of the Big Mac. Coach Vic just told me she's going to get her a Big Mac and fries before this trip is over. You know, that's that's kind of woman you need right there. Somebody that won't break the piggy bank. She don't need filet mignon and, and, and escargot. She wants a Big Mac, super size with a Coke. <laughs> there you go, buddy. He did well. Easy pass or toll by mail. It's going to be by mail because I don't have an easy pass. That means I got to pay the extra buck. <laughs> At least that's what I'm told it is. I assume that is correct. And we are going west to Buffalo. You know, see that on the sign, Albany Buffalo. You know, you know what I'm thinking about, don't you? 15 miles on the Erie Canal. <laughs> From Albany to the Buffalo. Low bridge, everybody down. Here we go. We are moving right along. The rain had turned to a mist, to a fog, and now it's uh, starting to see some sky out there. So it's starting to burn off a little bit. Roads are still wet. The trucks come by and they spray you. The spider's going to be a mess again. I, I wiped it down real good this morning, but I have a feeling it's not going to be looking too pretty at the next stop. <laughs> Three quid. 
Coach Vic has street cred now. Look at her. She dressed like a rain. Not girl. very fashionable, but whatever. The wind's blowing. It's cold. It's raining. And a real heavy downpour we went through. And it just got super duper heavy again right after we stopped. Just got us a cup of coffee to warm the bones up a little bit. Got our rain pants on. I told Vic earlier I wasn't sure if we were going to put, I wasn't going to put my rain pants on. I, I had my jacket on. Once it started coming down heavy and the trucks are going by, they're blowing, they're blowing that spray all over us. Even if the rain stops, I think for the next hour it'll be, it'll be advantageous to have the rain pants on. Yeah. Also, there's another cell behind this. Hopefully we don't get it, but we could. We could. Rain, rain. Go away. <laughs> She's done with the rain. We had a great day yesterday. It was the one that was the best day of the whole trip. Otherwise, it was very, very hot or rain and cold the rest of the time. Well, the day before going up to Fort Kent was beautiful too, right? Well, yeah, that so was we, we, had, yeah. we had two days. So, and I appreciate this nice day. So we have two of the ten days that were really nice riding weather. The other eight, meh. And now that, like, you know, hair is wet. The vent was open again on the front of the helm, which I didn't realize. I got the, the neck wet, but whatever she's learning she's learning all the uh all the little configurations on her helmet the hard way <laughs> yeah that's how it goes it's just what we do well niagara falls we're on our way all right well we're gonna finish this coffee and like i said warm our bones up a little bit we're gonna go make the best time that we can while safely doing it without freezing our rear ends off yeah yeah all right well, let's do this all right can i have a kiss right there now I feel better. Now I'm all warm all the way down to my Yeah, I know. <laughs> You know, as we get out on the road, and, and many of you know, I'm an old musician. I uh, used to do nothing but play songs and listen to music my entire life has been surrounded by music and coming from the south country music was a big part of that you know and as we get out on the highway i always think of these old um, truck driving songs as we pass the big rigs and i think about the guys uh, that i've known in my lifetime that drove trucks uh, my dad had a friend named jimmy mack that uh, drove a big old truck and and he had the, his big rig parked in his front yard, and we would go over there as kids and climb up in the cab and, and play in it. And I would think about the songs, the old songs, and some of you will remember them. You know, if you look up on uh, iTunes, Road Music, uh, 23 Truckin' Hits, you'll hear a lot of these. Uh, the one that I think of is that Endless Black Ribbon. It's not on that record, I don't, I don't think, but you'll remember stuff like Teddy Bear and Six Days on the Road and phantom 309 that sort of stuff and all of those things just bring back the memories uh, of when i was a kid coach vic didn't say anything but i can actually see her rolling her eyes right now as i start to sing give me 40 acres and i'll turn this rig around all right well let's get through the chili the rain and the mist and let's get some gas in this old spider because we got things to do places to go and people to see All right, so big, so here's our stop. <laughs> Why do you get me looking like this all the time? Well, you look beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have not been able to do our, our stops. We're kind of in a hurry. We're meeting somebody and we uh, didn't get to do any talking on our last stop, uh, but we oh, did meet we a really nice person. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say though, before we get going? I'm tired of rain gear. <laughs> You're tired of rain gear? Um, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You look cool in your gear and look at this. You look wonderful. Here, let me put my thingy down. Here, here there's a little thing right, right here, like this. You know, this. Oh, no, I want this now. <laughs> now you look like a pro. <gasps> Not even still. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to roll. We're going to go and through. And I broke my sunglasses. You broke them? Oh, no. Yeah, that's why I'm not wearing my sunglasses this right now, because they broke. I'm sorry. How'd you break them? 
they just they broke. Okay. All right. Well, I love you. So that's why I don't have my sunglasses. Didn't you order some for Shady Rays? Not yet. No. Oh, okay. All right. Uh -uh. Well, well, let's get on the road and we'll go see Wayne. What do you say? All right. Although I don't need my sunglasses right now because it's raining. And we're somewhere around uh, Rochester, somewhere around there. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's roll. Make sure it is leave in the rain. I don't think it is. Get a little double check. You double check with the double check. I don't see anything. Do you see anything? See, that's where we're going, right there. Yep. As we grab 390 and head towards Niagara Falls, our spirits are lifting, things are looking better, the sky may be a little gray, but you know what, after talking to Coach Vic and the experiences that we've had, she's starting to feel just a little better, and that's a good thing. Well, we're going to meet someone for the first time, a fellow by the name of Wayne. Now Wayne, I won't tell you his last name, but if you look down in the comment sections, he always has a very well articulated and very thought out comment. You know, Wayne is one of those guys that always encourages and inspires all of us. I really do look forward to meeting him face to face and shaking his hand. He's been an encouragement to Coach Vic, even though he may not even realize it. So he's dropped a little geo pen so that I can find where he is. So we're going to head over this bridge and go meet Wayne, and then he's going to guide us on over to Niagara Falls. After a handshake, a hug, and a little bit of visit time with Wayne in a parking lot, it was time to head towards Niagara Falls. And man, can I tell you, I was super duper glad Wayne was here. After we got on the road and the traffic and the turns, and man, I would have probably ended up, who knows, man, maybe in Canada. But he was very, very helpful. He knew the lay of the land. It was really cool. This was a part of the country, again, that I've never seen. What was so amazing to me is you would look off to the right, and it would look crazy industrial. And you would look to the left, and you looked like you were at a lake time resort. It was just wonderful. What a great experience this is. And it's so wonderful to meet new people. So let's enjoy the ride with Wayne. Next stop, the amazing Niagara Falls. So I'm here with Wayne. He's a, a New Yorker slant candidate. Well, I, what do you call a candidate person? I, I, well, I'm since I have my U.S. citizenship, I'm a Can Am. Okay. I <laughs> have I are, have dual citizenship. You, you are I'm you a, a Can Am, and you ride a Can Am. Exactly. Now let's check out his Can Am. Check this out. That thing looks great, man. 2020. I think the 2021s are identical except for see this guy. I love it. I love the color, man. <laughs> what do they call that? Is that That's the, the chalk? See, this is where I get envy, is this front end. 
That's where all the magic happens. We collect a lot of stuff in there too. Looks good, doesn't look half as good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's an 18? This is a 19. 19. Oh, so yeah, yeah. That was the last year of that. That's a 20. Yep. They did the redesign. I'm sure the wind noise is, is horrible, but it's okay. Check this out. After an hour or two of camaraderie and sweet conversation with Wayne, the day was on and it was sweeter than ever. Much to our pleasant surprise, Wayne volunteered to ride with us all the way to Erie, Pennsylvania. That was quite a shock and we were sure grateful. Man, does he know the lay of the land and jockeyed his way through these cars like a professional. And you know, as a small town guy, it's much appreciated to have a local who knows the lay of the land. He made this trip in this area so much more enjoyable. We were able to not have to worry about navigation and stress about traffic. And we could just tag along with him and observe all of the beauty that this part of the country has to offer. It really is quite spectacular. And again, I was surprised. I didn't expect a lot of what I saw. But we sure are glad to have Wayne along. It's been a wonderful visit. What we're going to do, we're going to ride on up into Erie, and then Wayne and I are going to go have supper. Coach Vic's going to rest at the motel and hang out and wait for me, and then we will do our closeout this evening. So I will see you very, very shortly. So today, Lake George, New York to Erie, Pennsylvania. How was it? It was a long ride. <laughs> it was a long ride. A long ride. ride, rainy. Yep. So how frustrated were you today? I, I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 80. <laughs> you were, she was a 94. I mean, I was a little, I don't know, a little frustrated, but not... Not bad. I mean, I was still enjoying the ride. You know, there were, there were a couple of times I know that, that we both got frustrated because the rain would stop and it would look like it was going to clear up and then it would get bad again and then it would look like it was going to clear up and then it would get worse. And then the it would sun like, would peak out just and for then a it would second. Get, or even worse. Yeah. Um, and it was that way for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And it's not the fact that it rained today. It's the fact that the accumulation, the accumulation. of days of rain you start going, man, come on. Uh, you know, when you ride in beautiful weather like we did last year on our trip, 
where it was no rain. So you have to literally find yourself searching for that beauty in that ride, in that moment. Right. Um, Coach Vic and I were talking earlier about how you have to forget yesterday mm -hmm. and drop all the rain, all of the negative things that have happened on, on a tour, if they are negative things. And there's always negatives in everything you do. We all know that. You have to drop those and start today fresh. Mm -hmm. Today holds new challenges. It holds new victories. It holds new sunrises, new sunsets. It's going to be a new experience, a beautiful day. And if you can do that, if you can compartmentalize like that, you will enjoy everything you do, whether it's hiking, running, bike riding, can-am riding, or your marriage. Well, there you go. Look at that. It's a metaphor for life. So touring is a metaphor for life. He pondered. All right, so what did we do today? 460.6 miles, bringing our total to, are you ready for this? 4,224.8 miles. This wow. trip, I believe, is gonna be longer than the California trip, which surprises me. I really didn't expect that. Um, I, I had broken it up into sections. They're having a party in the hallway. Well, we went over to Niagara Falls, so that added some distance. That did, that added a little bit of distance. And by the way, Wayne, thank you. You were a tremendous host. If it wasn't for Wayne, we'd had a hard time finding some things. He was Johnny on the spot. We went straight to a, a location that he had sent me, took us right to him, and then he took us over to Niagara Falls Park, and it was wonderful. Great conversation. Uh, he and I got to go out and eat last night. Coach Vic crashed and burned here in the room. Yes, I did. And uh, it was by, nice. by the way, uh, Wayne, uh, how'd you like the uh, chicken sandwich? That oh, you bought I liked here? it. Thank you. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. It was so, it was very good. Thanks. I brought her a to-go box uh, back uh -huh. from over there. But we had great conversation last night. Uh, of course, motorcycles and riding we discussed, but but in, in much deeper things of life and meaning and existence, all those wonderful things that we like to talk about um, and experiences. It's amazing the common experiences that you that you hold with people. All right, so today, what are we going to do? Erie, Pennsylvania, Lexington, Kentucky, and I've got my mileage pulled up. It's that 430-ish area. That's the estimation for today. Today is a travel day. You know, there are days where you're sightseeing, you're looking around, and then there are days you're going point A to point B, and you experience, you enjoy the experience as you go from point A to point B. Coach Vic loves the looking around. She's that one. I Today is the day I like. I like riding. I like the travel. I, I would do 600 miles, head down, bang, let's go. And I do that. Drives Coach Vic crazy. That's what makes our team so good. Mm -hmm. She likes one thing, I like another. And somewhere in the middle is, is a great experience. Any epiphanies today, though? Anything you'd like to share about the rain or the riding or the falls or the friends or anything you want to share before we go? Well, I remember driving on the interstate there for a while. We had a lot of interstate driving today. Yeah. Got me a little antsy. And then going to, Ni well, yeah, going to Niagara Falls, all that traffic was, the New York traffic was pretty busy. I was so used to those quiet, serene roads, and then we're getting right back into the traffic. There were times on I-95 in Maine, you could not see a car behind you right. or in front of you for miles and miles for a half hour. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. well, we're back in the traffic now. So today is is Erie, uh, Columbus, Cincinnati, Lexington, basically. Oh, okay. So we're going to Ohio today. Oh, really? Yeah. Ohio. Ohio. And of course, we will have all of the funny... Uh, WKRP in Cincinnati, Jones. Okay. Oh, and, and we took a walk to um, Lake Erie. Yeah, I'll drop some pictures here. Uh, we yeah, last I was night, all snuggled up in the bed, and Bob's like, "Get up, get up, put your put your britches on." Going for a walk, I'm like, "What?" Like at ten o'clock at night, I'm like, "What?" Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it was nice. It, it was, was worth awesome. it. Yes, it was nice. It was awesome. There's so many times, and we talked about this last night. There's a world that's going on out there, and we we sometimes look at others and go, man, they're living life. You know what you have to do to live life? Get out and live life. Get out and live it. That's, that's all, it's very simple. It sounds way too simple because it really is. Get out there, live it. That's what we're gonna do. In fact, we're gonna start offloading some video and get ready um, to do our thing. All right, you ready? Yes, I am. All right, 
So do me a favor, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun. You're doing it wrong. All right, we'll see you on the road real soon. Maybe today, you never know, it could happen. All right, see you.